Hello my Cancers and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. I am of course Debbie and I'm reading for August 4th through the 10th. Now I've done the overview victory. Please take a look because a lot of the a lot of the other readings that I've done have been pulling up similar cards. So let's take a peek at that. I am also reminding you that these are general readings may or may not resonate. Take what you like, leave the rest. I'm kind of getting debts owed. Debts owed are being repaid to you, my cancer. So I want to know what that's about. Now, debt a debt could be, um, you know, something to do with energy. Energy could be money. So money that's owed to you, you're going to be getting money that's owed to you. It could be that maybe there's some favors that you've done, and that's getting, you know, that's going to get repaid to you. But I'm kind of getting, you know, uh, you're going to be, I'm kind of, I'm getting, not kind of, I'm getting that you're going to be on the recipient, the, the receiving side of debts owed, okay? So let's see, let's see, I want that for you. So let's see what that happens. Let me know my cancers, what that's all about. Okay, so let's go on. Higher power and Holy Spirit. What else is there? Okay, that card flipped. It didn't flip, it just fell. Oh, uh, let's see, what else do we have for our cancers? Here we go. Yeah, that's... Debt's, debt's owed, debt's received, debt's uh, cleared, debt's, but it's, it's you're on the receiving side of the debt, okay? So it's like either it's owed to you or you've done somebody a favor. Not quite sure what the debt is, but you're on the receiving side of the payment. Okay, let's see what we've got going here. First card, the Eight of Air. So Eight is unlimited opportunity and possibilities. So, you know, so there's always, there's always an option. There's always a possibility. There's always something to have out there. Air energy is our Aquarius, our Gemini, and our Libra. Now, Libra has, is in that south node, and I'm, I'll talk about this now for what, um, you know, for a good 18 months. Oh, my goodness. And it is about balance. It is about re achieving balance with the past. It is about putting the past to rest, but also seeing it in an impartial way. Okay, so there is this Libra energy still with the South Node. This is about you getting out. Again, I, can't, I get this feeling of you breaking free. I get this feeling of you getting out of, you know, out of your cage. I get this feeling of you leaving and making some choices. However, it is always a choice on whether you step out or you don't, okay? So there is a sense, there is this sense of, well, I'll tell you, there's an illusion. It's an illusion of being trapped, a lack of self-confidence, afraid to take action. So this is that lady that's sitting there with the sword. She's sitting there with the swords too here. She's kind of loosely bound up. She kind of has this, you know, um, blindfold. It's halfway on, halfway off. At any point, she could put down those swords. She could take off the, the ropes or whatever it is that's holding her, that she thinks is holding her back. It's more in her mind, okay? It's more in her mind that holds her back. So this is really about, again, remember, eight is about opportunities and possibilities. So you need to, you know, you need to say these, you need to reach these, you need to look at these opportunities. It's in your mind, break free, all of that that's keeping you from this, this next step is, you know, it's an illusion. It's all, it's all been an illusion. Like I said, I'm getting, and maybe this has to do with the, um, you know, I'm, I, and again, you know, if you watch the overviews, you, you know what I'm talking about. This has to do with that retro, um, the shadow of retrograde uh, for our Mercury, okay? It's all an illusion. The scales fall. You're, you know, you can see that there's a bright future headed for you, Okay. So this is an illusion. Let it fall. Let it leave. Next card, reversed, so it's a strong energy. We have a one, one of air. One is a new beginning, a new start. Air again is that thought process, thinking things through, making some plans. So this has all been illusion. You know, whatever it is, now it's time for you to fly. And I love this one. You know, I'm, I'm getting, you know, with his wings, it's now it's time for you to fly. Is it going to be easy? Eh, nothing in life is totally easy. But is it going to be something that's worthwhile? It definitely will be. I love, I love this unicorn with his wings or her wings, and she's now it's time to fly. So 
brilliant new ideas and inspirations. Seeing the truth of a situation, see, instead of the illusion, seeing a truth of a situation, a challenging beginning. Interesting. Okay. I want to see the um, debt being paid, though. Okay, let's see what we have here. Reversed. Well, there, nine of water. So we have an eight one. And if you think eight plus one is a nine, we can add a nine. It becomes 18. 18 plus one is a nine again. Or, you know, one plus eight. So we have a nine. Nine is completion. Everything is done. Everything is over. You've got all the pieces. Water energy is your energy. It is your thought processes, thinking things through, making some plans. Now remember, I, even though I'm doing this reading for the 4th through the 10th, we do have a full moon coming up, you know, on August 1st, which is, I'm doing this on the 31st. This is coming up tomorrow morning, I think it is. So anyway, the Nine of Water is the wish card. This is make a wish, put out your requests, think things through, but yet, you know what, don't, don't think them so through that you hold yourself back. Wish for the impossible. Wish for the wish for the magic. Wish for the magic, my cancers. You've lived in so many so much of this. It's time for you to reach the reach out for the magic now. Your wish comes true. Concerns fade away. A love of life. Okay, let's go on. Let's see what we have with our John Holland Psychic Tarot and Oracle cards. <clears throat> I feel like I'm losing my voice, so I'm sorry about that. Here we go. Let's see. For my cancers, again, I feel debts are being paid. Debts are karmic debts are being paid. Interesting stuff. Make you know, reach for the reach out for the magic. There is things happening for you, my cancers. Let's see. I know I have special cancers in my life, so. And I have special cancers out there too. So here we go. Here we go. Let's see what we've got. All right. Now, this would be the five of pentacles, pentacles, okay? Now, that card is a little bit on the scary side, but this is the five of earth. Earth energy is our Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. A lot of that going on right now. And when those things square off that I talked about, when, you know, Jupiter and all that squares off, things are going to happen. So this is about financial and material changes. Again, this is where I'm feeling debts are being paid off. Debts are being, I don't know if they're being forgiven. Maybe they're your debt. Maybe they're being forgiven or debts are being paid off. Five is about change. This is about money, job, career. If this was the other decks, it might be about worrying about money, job, career. But this is the John Holland deck. I, and I love that because I'm always looking that he has these rings. Okay? He has these rings. And he's got these tapestries. This is not a person that is financially hard, is having financial hardships. So I think this could be my thing. Again, I get this thing, debts, debts, energies paid off. You tell me. You tell me. I want that for you. Claim it, my, my cancers. But good energy, the, being, you know, the illusion of being trapped, the blinders are falling, new beginning, the wish card, Again, karmic debts are paid. Okay, let's see what we've got here. Angels of Abundance for my Cancers. What do we have for our Cancers here? Let's see what we've got here for my Cancers. Cancers, Cancer, Cancer. What do you want to say? Release resentments about money. Somebody got this. I don't know. I think Scorpio got this. So if you have any Scorpio, you might want, in, in your chart, you might want to take a peek at this. And I think that that was like one of the first time I've seen this one. Or maybe not. Release resentments about money. Yes, the money system of the world can seem upsetting. But holding resentments about finances just pushes your abundance away. Instead, see money as a tool you can use to better the world. And this shift will help you attract support and golden opportunities. Okay, money is a tool that will help me better the world. And also my cancers. Okay, we're going to look at it as, you know what, money is a tool, bring it in, bring it on. Okay, let's see what we've got going on here. 
I will have the angel answers, but let's go on and see what crystal or energy to help my cancers. Again, I feel I feel a lot of uh, like debts being paid. Debts being paid. <coughs> Excuse me. Here we go. There's clear, but again, reach out for your magic. Believe in the magic again, my cancers. There's a lot of magic out there. Good magic. Aragon Star Clusters, Earth Healing, Grounding, Stress Relief, Vitality. Okay, now remember, these are not for life decisions. But ask your question, and maybe it'll give you the right nudge in the right direction. How's that? Okay, let's see what we've got going on for my cancers. What, what answer for our cancers? Answers for our cancers. Answer for our cancer. What do we have? What answer do you have for our cancer? Here we go. Oh! <laughs> well, that one's there. Don't know why, but let's see. Whew. A little afraid to look at this. Positive movement forward. Pisces might have gotten this one. And that's an eight. So interesting with that. Eight of Earth. Here we go. What is your question? No. Straight out no. Does that answer your question, my cancers? All right. All right. Anyway. Interesting stuff. I'm getting interesting vibes for you. You know that I love you, so let's just let's just hold on to that. Okay, my cancers, do me a favor. Do me a favor by liking, sharing, subscribing and clicking on the bell for notifications, okay? If you're watching me on Rumble, Rumble me also. As always, though, my Cancers, always know that you are loved. Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye.